So it goes from the X to my mixer, then to the DAW. Now keep in mind what I'm doing here requires a 16 channel interface. So I've got the Tascam 16 channel interface, 16 by 08 it's called. And the final destination is Logic. So I got all my cables laid out here, I'm trying to stay organized. I got them all marked with tape here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get a snake if you want. I don't know if I'm that committed to this configuration. I got these all lined out. I got a MIDI cable. I'm gonna be running to my DAW, so my DAW can tell the MPCX when to start. And I got my USB drive. One is left. Two is right. We got three and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Boom. Now, as long as I'm back here, plug in my MIDI cable into MIDI N1, and I'll know N1 is my computer. And also, while I'm here, plug in my thumb drive, boom. And I'm always really careful with that because if you break this USB thing, you won't be able to use your MPC. All right, you can see right here that I've got the, I've got the snake going to the DAW. I'm not gonna show how to rewire the snake, but these go in the inputs. These are my outputs of my MPC going into the inputs. We're gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Now I kind of tighten these cables up a little bit. I'm going to turn this thing back around. Luckily, I'm on a rolling cart here, so I can hold it. Actually, I'm do the do the wiggle here. Okay. Gently put them back up over here. MIDI cable here, and I'm putting it in the output of the task cam. All right, now I'm gonna very carefully turn this thing around. Okay. It's fine, as long as nothing can smash my stuff here. Okay, now I got Logic open here. I created four audio tracks. And I'm just going to go in and go one slash two, three slash four, five slash six. I can configure that however I want. I could take a bunch of mono inputs too, but I'm going to try to do four stereo pairs on this one. Um, so I got to make sure to go to track number two needs to be input three and four. And this one needs to be five and six. And this one needs to be changed to seven and eight. And if everything goes right, I'll get a signal. To get logic to start the MPCX, I have to go into preferences. Before I do anything else, I wanna make sure that it's starting it. And so I'm gonna go into settings and MIDI. And then I'm going to MIDI project settings and I want to make sure that this clock box is clicked. It won't do anything if that box isn't clicked. So now when I hit space bar, OK, 
Okay, I'm all hooked up. And before I forget, you know, I got this piece of tape here. I'm going to mark this. This is X. All eight channels. Boom, boom. And I got my mic on number nine. So I can see if I hit spacebar on the computer, it tells the MPC when to start. Right now, the MPC is set to just play stereo out, so. You can see it coming through. I'm gonna go into my MPC. Right now I'm on this drum program. I'm gonna go to pad mixer. And I can. I can see all the pads. Um, B1, I can change it to uh, output three and four. I'm gonna put my kick drum. Oh yeah, the mixer. <laughs> There we go. That kick drum's going to three and four. Now, the snare. I'm going to send to five and six. So I go over to five and six. Um, I'm having to monitor it through my mixer right now, but. Then I'm going to this hi hat. I can see it playing. I'm going to send it to seven and eight. Okay, now, ha ha ha. Uh, the thing about this mixer here is that uh, these faders don't affect the outgoing signal. So everything that's getting recorded into Logic is uh, totally dry right now, except for whatever effects are on the MPC. If I hit record here, This is it, so I got a little bit of it recorded. Um, check this out. So that's it. Um, I just made a really basic loop, but what I would do is like play all my track meets and stuff into here, line up a sequence. I obviously need to get my levels better. These are all looking pretty uh, squashed for some reason, but I've got it all hooked up. I did have a problem with OBS and Logic. I don't know if anybody knows the trick to monitor logic in an OBS video um, for some reason my input is coming through double if anybody has the answer for that I'd really appreciate it I'm just learning OBS right now but this is pretty cool now I can uh, you know can even take uh, 
one of these files here, like this kick drum. Um, I could chop that right there and drag it off to somewhere else and make it my own sound. Peace out. Adios. Check this out.